Okay, let's continue on. Um, we're going to continue on, and uh, what we ended the last video was, was we were going to talk about in this video the dangers of believing uh, the false gospel that you must turn from all your sins um, for you to be saved. Um, one must use caution when considering how repentance pertains to salvation, um, lest they mingle faith and works together and wind up believing in a false gospel. Um, so when you believe in a false gospel, um, and I observed this in my own life because uh, I, I fell for this trap uh, of believing in this false gospel. Um, and uh, you become uh, what I, I, I would consider in the book of Galatians, in, in chapter 3, where Paul says, Oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Um, w one of the things that happens when you believe this false gospel uh, is you get a very self-righteous attitude. Um, you will elevate yourself above other people and you will ignore your own sin in favor of pointing out uh, the sins of others. That's one thing um, that can happen. Um, but it seems to me that that, uh, uh, that is kind of like an automatic thing that happens with someone who believes that. Uh, they, they do not even acknowledge that, they, that they're guilty and then they've sinned, they're continuing to sin. It's like they're oblivious to it, they're blind to the fact that they are still sinning. They just want to point out all the other Christians what they're doing wrong and that they need to repent and they need to, you know. Exactly. I mean, because this, they look at this Christian and they don't feel that this Christian is performing the way they're performing. Oh, he must not be saved. What do you mean by performing? Um, uh, let's say I go out and I share my faith, um, and I, I I do that street witnessing, and, and I'm out there and I'm doing it all the time. But everybody else at the church ain't doing it, so I'm looking down on them and I'm judging them by their performance. When it's not our performance that makes us right with God, it's what He did on that cross um, that makes us right with Him, and it's yeah. finished two thousand years yeah. ago. And He says all they have to do is trust in Him and what He has done. Yeah. And they're saved. So they get arrogant and egotistical and uh, self-righteous. Feeling superior. Yeah. Full of pride. Um, it, it, it's it's uh, it's not good. Um, number two, what could happen? You will become completely despairing, seeing that your heart is so wicked, and you will see that there is no way to reform. Uh, there is no way to be good always, and you will despair at what you see inside of you. Um, and and you'll you'll uh, a lot of times walk away from the faith because you just can't perform. You can't you can't perform to this level that you have uh, um, uh, uh, put in your mind, thinking that's what God wants you to do. Um, Don't they understand that we all fall short of the glory of God before we get saved, and even after we say we cannot, we we continue missing the mark. You know, no matter how hard someone wants to hit that bullseye uh, after they're saved, they're going to miss the mark sometimes. And they, they, if they think they can do it, then you're right. It would it could be very depressing. Yeah, and and, and they uh, um, what they do is basically what uh, Paul said not to do. I do not set aside the grace of God. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if uh, righteousness could come by the law, then and Christ is dead in vain. But Paul said that. The life he lived, uh, he lived by faith in the Son of God who loved him and gave himself uh, for him. Um, so uh, it's not a, a, a gospel of works, it's a gospel of grace. The true gospel. The true gospel. But they're adding to that and uh, making it a false gospel. Yeah, it's not good news. Um, so here, here's here, uh, number three. What ends up happening is, is they, they start to glorify the men that teach this false gospel, and they become disciples of the men that teach this false gospel. Instead of um, following uh, the gospel that Jesus revealed to Paul in the Bible, in, in, in the letters of, of, of Paul, the gospel of grace. Um, 
So uh, um, it's a very dangerous thing. Not only uh, uh, can you give people the wrong gospel and therefore they're not even getting saved, uh, but these are all other potential pitfalls that uh, they become prideful or they get depressed because they can't live up to that standard themselves. Uh, and they become almost like in a cult following other people teaching that. Uh, it reminds me of an individual that uh, I met about uh, three or four years ago. And when I first met this young man, uh, he started preaching with me. And I found out that he was, um, uh, he was not Jewish, but he was in a Messianic Jewish congregation. And the guy that was, uh, he really was trying to follow was a, a legalist, uh, a Judaizer. That he was trying to get this young man to follow all the Judaism. And he was really adding works to, to the gospel. And uh, that was a big problem. And uh, I, I was able to uh, uh, convince the young man that that was all wrong. And now several years have gone by and continually over and over again, I see it, that he's never really gotten out of that. He's still holding on to all those things that um, he, he, he believes that to get saved, a person has to make some kind of a, a deal with the Lord. And the deal is, uh, uh, I'll make an agreement that I'll stop sinning, and then you, you'll save me, Jesus. But you see, the gospel is not a deal. It's a gift. He doesn't seem to understand that it's a gift, and he just needs to receive the gift by believing. Instead, he thinks he has to strike a deal saying, I'm not, I promise to do this, I'll change my mind about sin, and I'll be obedient. But when you do that, you cancel the grace of God. He's canceled it out. He's nullified it. It has no effect or value. A person who believes that is not saved. Well, the scripture says, I do not set aside the grace of God. Um, for if righteousness come through the law, then Christ died in vain. All right, well, we'll move on in the next video.